Edgar, you speak so logically and it makes sense to me. But at the same time, you're celebrating the religious festival of Mahashivratri in a grand way at the Isha Yoga Center. <laughs> These religious festivals seem like outdated rituals. So I want to know, what is the relevance of Mahashivratri to the youth? What kind of festival would you like, first of all? Maybe only the Valentine's Day or something. That is also religious, it's Saint Valentine, all right? So what is Mahashivratri? In India, there are 365 festivals in a year. Yes, today due to economic reasons and the way we have structured our work and things, a whole lot of them have died, largely maybe about five or six are being celebrated in a big way. Almost every Indian festival is connected to the calendar. We want to do something which is conducive for what's happening that day in the rest of the solar system. Why this is important is because what you call as my body right now, what is human mechanism, is… has come out of this planet. Most people don't get it till you bury them. They think they came from somewhere. No, this body is… Solar system is working like a potter's wheel to generate this. So everything that happens to the solar system happens to you in some way. So there is a very keen observation of what is happening in the solar system today. Accordingly, we have crafted one kind of celebration and we do those specific things. So on Mahashivaratri night, especially in the northern hemisphere or only in the northern hemisphere, there is a natural upsurge of energy. Oh, all this energy I don't believe, you don't. Just go sit on the coast, if there is a full moon night, is the ocean rising? Well, over two-thirds of your body is water, what makes you think water inside the body won't rise? All the fluids in the body are also rising. On that night, if you lie down, this means when the energies are trying to move like this, you're kind of obstructing it. It is not only that you lose the benefit, you could also harm yourself in in a very sensitive way. All these things matter to you only when you want to be a full-fledged human being. When I say a full-fledged human being, you want every faculty that can be opened up in the human being, you want it to be opened. You observe all these small, small changes that happen in the system and take care of that. So you want to sit straight, you want your spine to be erect on that night. When energies are moving upward, you want to help it further go up, not like this. So we created what is called as jhagaran, that means to stay alert and to stay erect. How to keep people erect? Just make them sit. You think they will? No, I have to entertain you. So, that night we have a celebration from evening six to morning six, twelve hours non-stop, music, dance, meditation. Various things being done so that everybody stays alert. I will show you a million people in one place, full night, not one person will sleep, everybody's on, 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 okay? <laughs> Those of you who are just used to night parties, by twelve-thirty, one o'clock, two o'clock, you sleep away, not like that. Night means, night ends when the sun rises in the morning. So till then we are on, everybody.